What's up gamers, this is Proto, and welcome to another episode of Like or Dislike, where we look at some of the latest games that come out, tell you a little bit of the storyline, tell you what I think about it, I have to get my hands on it, and doing our pros and cons at the end to help you decide if you really want to invest into the game. And today we are looking at Super Crush KO. Super Crush KO is a side-scrolling platformer shooter slash brawler indie game. You play as Karen, a person chilling in your room with your cat when this alien blows a hole in your wall and steals your cat from, steals your cat from her own. So you have to fight her robots to get him back. The storyline is that cheesy, but it makes the game fun and funny, especially when they talk to each other. Now you have to travel across four different levels, each with its own sub-levels and a boss level, fighting a variety of robots. Now you gain different abilities to take out the robots, and this is where the beauty of this game really shines, because you can create combos to get a higher score, but if you take a hit, you have to start the combo all over again. Now the boss fights are not extremely hard once you learn their patterns, but it's not hard to beat them. Like I said, once you learn their patterns, they're easy to get and you can take them down. So it's not going to be too hard to go after them. Now this game is beautifully done with bright colors and small details here and there. And all this gameplay that you guys are seeing are, is from the PC version of it. And that's pretty much overall the game. So we're going to do the pros versus the cons. And starting off with the pros, the first one, the fighting in this game is fun. Whether you're using the weapon, which can overheat sometimes, but you mainly want to use your fist, it is fun, especially when you learn your new abilities and you connect them, use them all together back and forth. It makes a lot of the fighting fun. The next pro we're going to look at is the controls are very simple. Usually in some games like this, the controls are way over the head but they're actually very simple easy to pick up easy to learn and you can actually remap them if you want to especially if you're using a controller and the last pro we're going to look at is the funny cutscenes now to me i think that was a good thing they did it kept the game going along like overall you know what the story is but it's just them two interacting with each other and the cutscenes they did for it man it's fun it actually made me laugh a couple of times so the pros done let's take a look at the cons the first con is, this game is short, so keep that in mind. Like I said, it's only four levels with about four to five sub-levels with a boss in each level. So the game is not going to be extremely long. Keep in mind, this is an indie game. Not a lot of indie games will be extremely long. The next con we're going to look at is repetitive enemies. You're going to pretty much be fighting a lot of the same enemies in each level. Now granted, when you get to a whole new level altogether, they will throw a couple of new enemies in there. Overall, you will be fighting a lot of the same enemies from the previous levels, just with a few more added on. And the last con we're going to look at, for right now this game is only on Switch and PC right now. Hopefully they will port this game over to console players, because I can see a lot of people on the Xbox and Playstation like this game. But for right now, you can only play it on Switch and PC. And that's pretty much the pros and the cons. I know this review seems kind of short for this one, but it is an indie game. And I didn't want to stretch it out too far, but overall, I really enjoyed the game. Now, you can beat the game probably in one sitting if you have the time. But I just love the beauty of this game and the combos. I just love trying to go through as fast as I can without taking a hit. So if you're a speedrunner, you will definitely enjoy this game. But that's just my overall thoughts of the game. Like I said, I definitely like it. I will probably try to stream this game so just to show some people how much fun it is. But... You know, if you if you want something really long or something that's going to last a few hours, I can't recommend it. But if you want something quick and simple, something short to get in, some something that you know somebody's not a big gamer, but they might like it, this might be for it. But that's pretty much it. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. If this has helped you decide whether to get the game or even just look into it. If you have not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll talk about stuff going on in the gaming and tech world. Do reviews on some of the latest games and tech that's out. Do top 10 new games coming out every month and so much more. Make sure to follow the social media pages so you can keep up to date with what's going on or if you want to reach out to me. I love talking about gaming, so don't be afraid to hit me up. Catch me streaming on Twitch, playing indie, PC, and console games. So hit me up in the chat while I'm gaming and make sure to hit that follow. But this is Proto and I'll catch you guys in the next video.